What's up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Today's video is pretty wild. Like the cops are wilding out on this one. <laughs> Imagine you're a bad guy or a bad woman, okay? We don't discriminate here. If you wanna be bad, you can be bad. If you identify as a cat, sure, you can be a bad cat. That sounds really weird. Anyway, imagine you're a criminal and you go out and steal a car and you thought you can get away from the cops, but the cops actually catch up to you. They pull you over, they drag your butt out of the car. Maybe you resist a little bit, maybe they fight you a little bit and you start fighting with the cops. They put you in handcuffs and then after, <laughs> after they put you in handcuffs, they give you a post interview like they would in an NFL game or an NBA game. <laughs> Um, this this is honestly so wild. This is so crazy and wild that this actually happened. When I first saw this video, I thought, let's freaking go. Please let me know down below what you guys think. This is probably the best video I've seen this week. Yeah, I'm St. Lucie County Sheriff Keith Pearson. Franklin Sanders and his juvenile companion thought they were gonna come through St. Okay, first of all, they put him on blast. They put him and his juvenile friends on blast. That's crazy! To say on social media who they are and then be like, you know, rag on them, his juvenile companions. <laughs> Lucy County with the stolen vehicle with the Broward Task Force on their tail ain't happening. Although this is an M5 and it's super fast, we got the scat pack. He literally calls out <laughs> the suspect's car and says, I mean, yeah, it's fast, but it wasn't fast enough. <laughs> we got the scat pack out. Hey, what'd you think? Good? And then he goes, what'd you think? Good, and the camera pans over to the juvenile. <laughs> what world are we living in where there's a post-criminal interview? <laughs> oh, I, I love this. I think we need to be doing this for every criminal out there with every police department in the country. Oh, that's so great. Good? Yeah, no comment. I'll he literally goes, well, what'd you think there, son? Would you, would you try to get away, but you couldn't. You're fast, but we're faster. Oh, that is so, that is so, so good. I freaking love that. That's sweet justice. The juveniles just <laughs> literally in handcuffs, laying up next to the car, just, bro, I don't want to talk about this. Don't tell my mom I don't want to talk about this. This is unhinged behavior, and I freaking love it. This is the kind of behavior that will deter some juveniles. Maybe not all of them, maybe not all criminals, but maybe some. Like, if I, if I get caught stealing the car from the police, I'm gonna get put on blast. I'm gonna get a post interview and I'm gonna be in handcuffs in that interview. <laughs> yeah, no comment. Although this car hits- And he says, yeah, no comment. Like, I thought so, buddy. <laughs> Although this car hit speeds of 160 miles an hour, the scat pack took him down. We wanna say shout out to the Broward County Sheriff's Office, Osceola County Sheriff's Office. He goes, he was going up to 160 miles an hour, but the scat pack Got him. Was going faster than 160. If you're going at that high of speeds, something bad is going to happen where you can't control the car, you can't control other people, yet the scat pack, he goes, but the scat pack was faster. The scat pack took him down. Well, no regard, just like, we're about to get this juvenile, no matter what. <laughs> River County Sheriff's Office for making sure we put this bad guy behind bars where he belongs. Make sure we put this bad guy behind bars where he belongs. I can't even, it, it's, it's, that is how it's done. And with that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching. What did you guys think of this video? If there are any other crazy videos that I should react to, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next Johnny Q video. Peace out, what the scat pack, going, okay, the post interview, that's just wild, freaking love it. So, so good.